Food allergies, especially severe ones, can make navigating the world tricky, but there's a new medication that may help with accidental exposures. It's called Zolaire. As the Fox Medical Team's with Calvin explains, this isn't an emergency medication like an EpiPen. Zolaire is already used to treat allergic asthma and chronic hives, and now it has been authorized to treat people who have multiple food allergies and have an accidental exposure. If you or someone you love have to be vigilant about what you eat and keep an EpiPen close, allergist Dr. Tom Chaco of Chaco Allergy, Asthma, and Sinus Center says this newly FDA-approved allergy medication, Zolaire, might be worth looking into. It's really for people who are worried about accidental exposures. Patients on Zolaire will still have to avoid the foods that trigger their allergies. But if they do have an accidental exposure, this medication is designed to damp down their body's allergic response. I think it's a good option for those who may be if really their food allergy creates this fear and they have a lot of anxiety about it. I think in those situations this could be very helpful. But Dr. Chaka says most food allergies are mild, so most of his patients won't need a medication like Zolaire. Look, if you're fine with just avoiding, just avoid. But if it really stresses you out, like for example, if you're milk allergic, egg allergic, it's very hard to avoid. These are something to think about. And Dr. Chaka believes a process known as desensitization may be more effective for people with food allergies. We give small amounts of the peanut over time to allow the body to tolerate it. We can do that with peanut, with milk, with egg and cashew. It's actually a more natural way of the body to tolerate it. There are some patients that even doing the desensitization, they have difficulty tolerating it. Um, not many, but there are those. And those in conjunction with the Zolar, I think would be a great option. Cost, Dr. Chaco says, could be another issue. Zolar is designed to be used continuously Continuously injected either every two or four weeks. Because it's now FDA approved, it will likely be covered by most insurance plans. It's anywhere between 30 to 50K a year in perpetuity. So I want to be very clear, this is not a cure. This is not, it's a, a medication that you will take ongoing for out, however long you need it. So I think it does have some role, but not for everybody by any means. The most common side effects with Zolaire injections are injection site reactions and fever. But this drug does come with a black box warning because it can cause life-threatening severe allergic reactions. And for that reason, the shots are typically given in a medical setting, but Dr. Chaco says some patients eventually may be able to do the injections themselves at home. For your Fox Medical Team, I'm Beth Galvin.